And if Smith can't get past, Dirks will catch him. A couple of seconds lost in a traffic jam can make all the difference in this game. And look at this, look at this. Sven Lundin, the ex-world champion, is having trouble with his machine and is coasting down the back of the hill out of the race. And Dirks is leading. Into the lead goes Brad Dirks ahead of Britain's Jeff Smith. Dirks, riding at Hawkston for the first time, has passed Jeff Smith, the man who is regarded as invincible, the acknowledged master of this circuit. Well, this is a surprise. We expected Smith to be challenged by world champion Rolf Tibley, but Rolf failed to start, so the Swedish team was reduced to four as the race began. With Brad Dirks in the lead and with a third of the race run, let me do some quick mental arithmetic to see what the overall team positions are. This is a difficult race to follow, as you have to bear three men in each team in mind. Britain is in second, sixth and eighth place, and Belgium is in fourth, fifth and seventh. According to my calculations, that's 16 points each, level pegging, so it's still anybody's race. the hill again and Smith is gaining. He's definitely gaining on Dirks. Here's some of the tail enders. Dirks is going to be in trouble here when he catches up with this lot and Smith's right with him. That's, this is it, the battle for the lead. Number 25, Jeff Smith in second place. Number 28, Brad Dirks in front of him. Smith is going to the left and he's got a clear path. Smith will take the lead here. He's going to get through on the left, but no, look at that. Dirks is there. Dirks gets through. Dirks leads by the skin of his teeth. It's still Dirks and Smith as they weave past one of the slower riders, Lingard from Denmark, and Dirks still holds that lead as they go into the left-hander. Well, they're past one, past two, past three, and now Jeff Smith is past the fourth, the tail-enders. the Canadian going again and gamely struggling on, though several laps behind the two leaders, as a number 18 clown from France and Denmark's Pedersen on the Husqvarna. Smith poised on the rest, knees flexing, throttle open, surges past Belrose as he shortens the odds to a machine's length as they go over the hill and into the sand. Smith carrying Dirks all the way. trying to get inside, he's going to try and get inside of the right-hander, but Dirks holds him off, and the crowd are going wild with excitement as the two leaders come round the tree and into the straight, halfway through this fantastic race. Dirks goes wide, and Smith takes the inside lane as they come up to the hump at the start of lap nine. Together, both together at the hump, and Dirks looks over his shoulder, but it's the wrong shoulder, because Smith's coming up on the other side, and he's going to make it. Jeff Smith leads for Britain passing Brewer Dirks of Holland halfway up Hawkston Hill on the ninth lap of this 15 lap race. At the back of the hill, number 26, Rudy Boom from Holland on the Lindstrom two-stroke is lapped as Smith buckets his 420 BSA over the bumps to pass Lutz and Tavenaz of the Swiss contingent. And number 27, Pete Dirks, Brewer's brother. Someone's in trouble. The marshals are coming out. Someone must have dropped it. It must be one of the tail enders. But where's Dirks? Yes, it looks to me as though Brass must have lost it because here comes Gaboz and behind him, Paterson, number 14, who has been left. This is going to change the whole complexion of the race. No, there he is, there's Dirks. He's picked it up, but he's obviously in trouble as person number 34 flashes into third place. Well, that really is bad luck. Dirks, after a brilliant ride, has run into trouble. Look at his front wheel. It's either forks or front wheel trouble, and he's looking down and kicking his gear lever. This puts Britain's Jeff Smith into the lead from Belgium's Sylvain Gabors with Olaf Persson of Sweden third and Holland's Hermann de Souter in fourth place, while British riders Derek Rickman and Vic Eastwood lay fifth and sixth. Arthur Lampkin having taken to his pit with fuel gushing from a split feed pipe.
comes up to the sand to lap the Frenchman, René Julien, on the Triumph Matisse. the paddock stretch and it's wheel to wheel over the bump as Smith laps Switzerland Lutz as he rockets up the hill. And now let's try and clarify the position as the riders go through. Rudy Boom from Holland. Number 19, Julien, France. Tavenaz have all been lapped. Gabors is lying second. Fro's brother, Pete Dirks. And here's the third man, Per Olaf Persson from Sweden. Herman de Souta is fourth. Followed by Pham and Lingard. Fifth place, number 23, Derek Rickman, now half a lap behind the leader. And Vic Eastwood is sixth. British riders then are first, fifth, and sixth. A total of 12 points. And I'm sorry to say, Brer Dirks, after riding a brilliant eight laps, has had to retire with a damaged gear selector. It looks like Britain and Belgium, but it's still anybody's race.